Hi Pisces, welcome to Omkara Tarot and to your monthly July 2020 reading. So Pisces, let's begin. These are general, general collective energy readings, uh, Pisces, will not resonate with all of you out there. So just take what works for you, okay, and leave the rest. So let's begin. Dear God, Goddesses, Angels, Spirit Guides, please bless this reading for Pisces and send them the message they need to hear the most at this time. Thank you. So here, let's begin. And thank you all my subscribers for your kindness, for your comments. Uh, I love interacting with you. And as you know, I reply to each and every one of your comments. As much as you enjoy these, I also enjoy your comments and I love to interact with all of you. Um, also, newbies, if you're here, um, welcome. Join our channel. And uh, hang man upright. So you're coming out of something, Pisces. You've been enlightened about something. Let's begin the reading. Queen of Pentacles. What a lovely card to start with. Here you are. Everything in control. You have your money. You have your home. You have your stability. Everything is tickety-boo. Yes, you've done a lot of uh, self-reflection, haven't you? If somebody had cheated you, uh, Pisces, in the past, uh, I think uh, somebody kind of sneaked out on you, cheated you, did something which was uh, not good, you you took back your power here. You have turned into this Queen of Pentacles. You've, you, you know, you went within and uh, you thought about it. You got enlightened and you realize the best thing for me to do is kind of just take care of myself and you've released uh, whatever this thing was, this person was, this business was, this job was, whatever this was for you which didn't serve you in the past, uh, you kind of released that and you've kind of totally taken your power back and you are now in a very very stable position which is really good. So what happened in the past that you know you, all this is going on? Yeah, some, you, uh, there was some kind of juggling going on maybe or there was some decision to make and uh, somebody just dropped the ball or just dropped this uh, all together. There's a two of coins in reverse. Oops, 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 too many, too many cards. What's this two of uh, pentacle spirit in the past in reverse? In the past, there was some question about equal give and take. And maybe when this thing was questioned and not answered, uh, somebody here just dropped this uh, because it was unequal. Uh, this entire project or business or relationship was totally dropped because of this breadcrumbing maybe that went on. Maybe one person was not satisfied. One, so one, the other person just kind of dropped it and said, hey, listen, I don't want to deal with it at all and brought this to total, total halt. Okay, the total stagnancy came. Yes, here's the two of pentacles again. Uh, whatever situation the, this was where, you know, somebody was going back and forth, not giving equally or not making a decision, the other person just said, okay, if you can't make a decision, if you're going to go up and down and left and right, I'll help you. I'll just drop it for you. So the other person just dropped the ball and uh, went on their merry way and I think Pisces this, uh, this is you because in your current position I see you taking back your power you have uh, released this person whoever was you know doing sneaky stuff like juggling or not making decisions or whatever you thought about it for a while and you released this pressure altogether so let's see what's coming up now Knight of Pentacles in reverse is your energy now. Uh, still very slow moving. Uh, something very slow moving is coming your way. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Ah, a huge tower moment approaches. Concerning this person who brought the stagnancy to your life. 
the same person who was really really stagnant see this knight of pentacles uh, who was the reason for this juggling and who you thought about maybe gave up this person is back in your future same card knight of pentacles this person is going to reappear now in july july pisces and this is going to lead to something shocking for you something sudden something you did not expect not necessarily bad it will just be shocking you didn't expect this because according to you you'd already given up on this right uh, this is this, can you imagine this is the same card knight of pentacles knight, knight of pentacles this is in your past past energy which you let go of and here this knight of pentacles is back with the tower moment now i want to see what this tower moment is spirit of, mm. okay this knight of pentacles has also done a lot of deep thinking has also given it a lot of thought that's what this pen, uh, person is going to come and tell you and uh, this will come as a shock to you because you really didn't expect this to be resurrected but this person is going to come back into your life to say this that hey darling i've thought about it and i've realized that you are my wish fulfillment this person can't live without you they have realized what they've done and yes they want to offer a big cup of love to you now that this is this is the tower moment you didn't expect this to come right and they want to have victory with you they want to have a victor vic victorious come back with you and uh, they want to really charge ahead in a positive way with you now so this is going to be the tower which is i think a very very happy tower is going to be a happy surprise for you i mean that is if you really like the person right uh, i think you do i think you will i think you do because this person really seems genuine right now so let's see um pisces what is it that you are holding on to or should hold on to spirit says you have the world for you know for in that position right so spirit is saying that uh, you're holding on to the thought too too tightly to the fact that oh i've already shut this chapter so spirit is saying don't hold on to it that tight okay you finish the way this relationship was in the past finish that but if there is a chance to begin a new chapter there is no harm okay don't hold down to the fact that once it's done is done don't be adamant uh, of not giving this person a chance maybe there is a chance to start a new chapter with this with this person in a brand new way i think they've learned a lot i think they've they've gone within they've also understood maybe where they went wrong and they, if they are willing to make a change uh, and i think uh, maybe it's worth it to give them a chance what is it that you should let go of yes one second let me take a clarifier for this is the six of pentacles too much expectation maybe this is actually a card of equal give and take yeah so if something didn't what spirit is saying if something didn't work in the past okay there were some issues about the fact that there was no balance or there was no equal give and take in the past spirit is saying let go of that now uh, don't hang on to this you know memories of whatever was not balanced whatever was not equal whatever didn't work out for you in the past uh, just give this thing whatever this thing is a chance to prove themselves once again yes because there is a strong possibility of a long term commitment or a partnership with this person or this thing or this uh, venture or job or business i mean you can relate it in a hundred ways but whatever this energy is definitely has a potential now so don't don't hang on to this feeling that it didn't work out in the past so it's not going to work out now okay anything else spirit uh, for what uh, I see should let go of let go of that feeling now that you have to move away and you know uh, you, you 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 can't find stability with this person if this person is offering you stability please believe that they are coming in with a solid commitment this time you may have felt that you had to walk away last time because yes they were not offering you this right but this time i think they they're coming in with this instead of that so 
give this person a chance, give this thing a chance to prove to you that they mean business this time. So Spirit is saying, don't be too steadfast in your uh, yeses and nos and uh, the beliefs that you've held on for so long. So what is your biggest hurdle? Uh, this uh, Your biggest hurdle is the emperor in reverse. Of feeling that you cannot take take back charge of this of your life or this relationship uh, that you can't have a new start you have I think convinced yourself that if you you know go into this relationship or this job or whatever you're going to lose power and it's not going to be successful it's not going to be victorious there is not going to be anything stable in this You've convinced yourself there is going to be no fresh beginning. There is no possibility. So Spirit is saying this is your hurdle. Because this is only stuck in your mind right now. So it's just saying don't be that adamant. And uh, maybe try and give this a chance. Let's take one more card. Yeah, this is your own fear, Spirit is saying. You are totally stuck in your head with fear, doubt, regret from what didn't happen in the past. And maybe feeling that you know, um, this is a toxic thing and, you know, it's not going to work out. So Spirit is saying this is a hurdle because it's only in your mind. It's nothing like that. Let's see how people see you. People see you as an ace of pentacles. They see you as the queen of pentacles. You're doing very well in your life. You have it all sorted out. People see you making fresh moves for yourself. I think you on your own are doing pretty well and uh, that's what that's how people see you that you don't need them maybe yes they, they, they feel you've already made your decision uh, Pisces they see they see that you've already made a decision of maybe um, taking a fresh new beginning for yourself and that you don't need anyone anymore and you're very adamant in whatever decision you've made yeah they see you of not wanting to partner up or move ahead with anyone else one more card spirit one more card is how people see pisces now They see you so adamant, Pisces, at the moment that, you know, you are totally in your element that even though they are wanting to bring this love offer to you or, or an apology to you, they, are, I think, are a little afraid. They're a little, they're little sheepish, little afraid to come to you because they're not sure whether you're going to accept it, whether you are even open to receiving anything from them. So let's see what um, uh, universe's secret messages to you. The devil, exactly. The same card which was on your um, hurdles position. Okay, so now let's see how spirit wants to explain this to you. Spirit, why is the devil uh, here as the secret message for Pisces? What is it that Pisces needs to know about this devil energy? One more card, please. Oops, oops. You are scared to go back to the past, uh, um, uh, Pisces, because you're so wrapped up, you know, with the thoughts of what happened in the past. Uh, you are still very confused. You are a little, little emotional maybe about it. You don't see clearly as to how it's going to turn out. You're scared of any conflict. Maybe there was a conflict in the past where maybe somebody was rash or maybe was somebody was, uh, you know, just maybe came in and left with some harsh words and that left you feeling very emotional and you're feeling very very exhausted maybe at this point and too wrapped up into thinking of what went wrong in the past and that is your that is the devil that's around you your own doubt regret and uh, self self-criticism basically you're not being able to have any belief that this can work out. This was in your hurdles position. Remember, I explained this card to you earlier. And Spirit is 
seconding that. That yes, this is my secret message to you, Pisces. Don't be in this energy of self-doubt anymore. Because I think this person who's coming back to you may have something of value. So just give it a chance. So let's see um, also what spirit wants to bless you with or guide you for your work life and your finances and money. Spirit, uh, three cards for Pisces for their work and finances, please, for the month of July. One more card, please. Three cards. Spirit is saying that even through all this confusion that you have right now in your life going on, in your work life there is and there is absolutely no problem. You are being uh, you know looked at uh, out as a very successful person who has everything under control. Uh, they see, I mean, uh, people see you as uh, not really worried about anything which is. Uh, bothering you right now you seem to be very strong you seem to have picked up the pieces and uh, people see you as very enlightened people see you as uh, having uh, even though you may not feel like it okay you may not feel be feeling as confident as maybe as people see you and uh, yes I think whether you see it or not the truth of the matter is that yes, you are in a good space right now. You have wish fulfillment where work and your finances because you do come out as the queen of pentacles. Remember that, okay? So everything in your work and finances, yes, there's wish fulfillment, there is victory. Uh, there is nothing that is uh, kind of putting you down at this point where money and finances is concerned. So let's see what's going on in your... Why do I was this? I do not put it back. Uh, how do you? How are you in your love life in the month of July? How will you? How will you be in your love life in the month of July? Three card spirit. Anything for? Okay. Anything else for Pisces for their love life for July? One more card spirit. One more card, please. Uh, Pisces, exactly as the reading said, yes, you are looking out, but very tentatively, okay? You are still looking at the big, big bad world according to you and seeing, you know, is there anything out there for me? Like you've been in hermit mood for maybe such a long time. You really want to come out of it, but I don't think you are finding the courage right now. You're not finding the strength within yourself to come out there. You're keeping yourself very stuck. This is again that self-imposed prison that you're keeping yourself in. So Spirit is highly recommending that please remove these words from your world from your life from your mind pick up your strength now okay uh, you have done enough of reflection enough of work now and it's time now to you have the world in your hands basically okay uh, the whole world is waiting for you out there and maybe this person is waiting out for you so give this person a chance and step out now step out and take a chance in life let's see what the guardian angels want to bless you with uh, angels, spirit guides, please bless uh, Pisces with a beautiful message, please. Please bless, bless Pisces with a lovely message. Okay, thank you. Excellent card, Spices. Uh, yes, you're really afraid. You know, you're so afraid to even move off this ledge to take one step out in the in the world outside to find your love life or your life. Uh, Spirit is saying it's going to be so smooth. It's going to be so smooth. They'll literally carry you on their back and make it that easy and smooth for you. 
uh, you have done enough of self reflection you have done enough of inner work healing is you know you you are now ready for this transition the next new phase of your life and once you take that step forward uh, pisces miracles will flow into your life this is my favorite card in the deck it comes out very rarely and uh, you i think the lucky ones miracles are going to come your way it's totally totally free will from now on uh, pisces i have given you the message you have to take that call and step forward now in life okay take a chance take a chance and watch the miracles come so uh pisces do subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment if this works for you or a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you next for your love readings pisces i know i hope things are working out by then okay so love and light take care